Hello, it's Mike here. Still with a cold, so bear with me if you hear me sniff or <coughs> cough like that. Then um, you know why. I made this card today. I bought this border snowflake die, and it's from Studio Light. And um, but it cuts out just the border and the top, but not the bottom part. So you can make it into a border. And <laughs> yeah, I'm pointing to the deer. I love that one. Just not the frame that goes around it. Yeah. So here it is. And you also get the benefit of those little cut out snowflakes. You can use on another project. And I pulled out some assortment of uh, wow embossing powders. And I made a card panel that's the same size as card base. And oh, you can see this stencil is 5.5 .5 inches. So um, it's just short of uh, 15 centimeters in Holland. And I place it in the middle and uh, I will just, you know, detach it from um, the side. Now you will see later. And I'm using my uh, scotch tape because I couldn't find my post it. But um, notice I'm sticking it on the part. That will be trash. So even if it rips, who cares? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm gonna throw it away. See, it's still attached. So I, you know, just snip it off, and then pull out <coughs> the um, snowflake. Some are whole and some are in bits. That will be trash as well. Because I don't know what to do with those. To be honest, if you have ideas, leave it down below. And my silver card that I showed you at the beginning, I had the snowflakes standing up and the uh, winter wonderland wishes on the bottom. And actually I meant to do it this way, <laughs> with the snowflakes falling or cascading down and the winter wonderland on the top. And I'm just trying here to get it straight. And it was a bit far away for me. Mm, I had to, you know, put my head in the frame if I want to see it. Homemade embossing body and ranger emboss it powder. Uh, sorry, ink because I couldn't find my versa mark. I don't know what's wrong with me. My braid is, I know, all slimed up, I guess. This is a heart prop. I'm, I can't say that very well, but it's uh, from Wow. And the code is WS112R. It's a heart prop. Frop. I don't know. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> I've never been good at that. I, I, I pronouncing the R. So I'm heat setting it, and I pulled out some of my glittery paper. See how nice that is. Red Christmas, but also purple. Ah, <gasps> glorious purple. Ignore the red embossing powder there or embossing sentiment. Be I'm just showing you how it would look. And white on white, very elegant. Um, don't use white embossing powder on the white card, by the way. <laughs> you know, <laughs> matching red with red and green with green, blue with blue, but mm, white with white. Mm. And this is um, Mistletoe Magic, also from Wow. That's really nice. It's black and some greens in there. And then I pulled out blue. And I thought I had another one. Because this is a bit dark for frozen look. And the other one, maybe a bit too light. And then I thought, oh, yeah, I just saw it there. Yeah. Oh, there it is. See how g oh, it goes so nice. So I made that one off camera, but I included it in the picture. Gold. If you do silver, you can also do gold. Of course, you, I think you can do any color. But red and white as so candy cane, Christmassy, yummy. And, um, yeah, I'm putting it on my card base and the uh, panel is a little bit smaller so I'm trimming it off and um, you could cover the whole card base if you want it with um, glitter but that yeah, well <laughs> feels wasteful to me and um, so I'm just doing it where it's needed it's about half the card I'm cutting it a little bit generous and I'm marking it on the back because you know you can't see it on the other side. And I just realized I had to mark it from the other side. <coughs> That's how I went wrong the first time. Yeah. Anyway, 
I'm sick, so I have an excuse. <laughs> I am ATG gone. And yeah, I'm trying to get into the corners. Well, I find they don't like to go into the corner, at least. Not sure if that's just me or uh, not, but <laughs> I find myself using liquid glue a lot just to uh, stick down the corners and uh, well I just have it so you know I might still need to get used to it I'm sure it's me foam tape you could mount it flash with the ADG gun but uh, I prefer fiddling with foam tape than <laughs> I'm sorry the ADG gun is not my friend not yet anyway so I'm 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 using 120 pounds or 250 grams paper, so that's quite sturdy and you know you don't need to support everywhere. You can if you want to, but that takes a lot of cutting of really small foam bits, and um, well I just put it where I think is enough, and you know <coughs> no one ever complained. And maybe I should test it and put it for the mail and see how it. You know, survives. Have you ever done that to see, you know, how you, the male man treats your male? I haven't. Well, that's uh, me attaching it to the card base, and that's basically the card finished. And uh, I hope you liked it, and I uh, hope you will join me again next week. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's the blue one coming. Yay. Thank you for watching. Bye.